Wait, don't leave yet. There's a chest right there in plain sight. You can't leave that there. What are you, crazy? It could be anything. It's a lucid ring. You guys are stupid leaving that behind. There might be other stuff in here. No? Okay. Well, guess not. You never know. There could be stuff. Hidden. Who are you? Hey, did you hear they're saying there was a riot in Bevel? Oh, that's good. Temple of Yevon, Bevel, Temple of Yevon, Makalania. Calm lands, Mount Gagazed. So we're in almost at the calm lands. Oh, this is where the game actually starts opening up. <laughs> this is where the trope, like, it starts opening up at 20 hours. That's where this. Well, I guess that, that really comes from 13. And people are like, yeah, Final Fantasy 13 is linear, but, like, once you get to the 40 hour mark and get to Grand Pulse, it really opens up. It's like, uh. I don't know if that's exactly, like. That's like a, that's a pretty criticism of it, honestly. I wanted to come back here to see if there was, like, any spheres or anything I missed. I guess not. Just wanted to make sure. Can I even go this way? Where's this? You can't enter Bevel now. The guard is on full alert, you know. Just go back to where you came from. Got it? <laughs> good, good thing the guard was... Paying attention to who I am. Good thing he didn't ask me for my papers. Alright. Away I go. To the Calmelanons. We gotta get the ship back, though. Alright, you guys ready for the biggest area in Final Fantasy X? It's literally breathtaking. Lands. Long ago, the High Summoner spots in here. The road ends here. Beyond, there are no towns, no villages, only endless plains. Many summoners stray from their path and lose their way here. She died. <laughs> oh no. I've always known where to go. I I won't let you die. I'll find a way somehow. Yuna, I would find a way. I guess I wanted to believe that words could make it come true. Okay, I really like the Comlands. It's pretty cool. It's a pretty big area that houses some interesting stuff. I believe the Monster Arena is here. As well as a few other things. Alright, well... We've got fucking bees. Let's see how good we are against these enemies. Okay, we overkill them in one hit. Good to know. And that one, since he tried to attack. Okay, you want to go for a three? Get out of here. You fucking losers. <laughs> Get out. Man, Waka just like one tapped them all. Holy shit, I should stop, stop shit talking Waka. I guess. I want to see if there's anything over here. I can't remember. But, uh... Yeah, I really like the calm lines. It's really cool. There's a lot of cool stuff in it. This, this is the point where there's a lot of, like, side stuff you can do in the game. Hello, a chocobo feather. So, if I had a chocobo, I could do something there. Uh, we also do need to get back to... 
the having the airship before we can really like go and do a lot of the side stuff. Black magic, uh, blizzard, right? I think. Blizzard or water, whatever. Enough. Enough. I said enough. It's past your bedtime. So I hit you with my big stick. Yeah, right. Now. Yeah, once we get the airship back, we can, like, do the ultimate weapon and hunts and stuff like that. Get all the extra Aeons, as there's your Jimbo, Anima, uh, I think the Magus Sisters you have to get. If I'm not mistaken, they are a storyline thing. Because there is multiple areas that you also do in the story after the Comlins as well. It's just that we are... It's not like we're getting close to the end of the game. I've only been playing for like 22 hours. And this game is fairly long, but... We're, we're getting there to the point where it's like time to... Start preparing for the end. By leveling and equipping our dudes. Not like we're like really even close to the end of the sphere grid or anything yet, but... We can certainly sniff it. Let's see, how much more does Watera do? Okay, it was not as good. Oh, I exploded. Can't believe you did that, man. Booyah! 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 Man, that spiky ball seems like it'd be really uncomfortable to hold. Especially since Waka tucks it up, like, right under his titty. I tuck it up under my titty. What's up? Perhaps you'd like to know a bit about these planes. Yes, I would. What a Wait, no, I, I hit the wrong thing. Perhaps you... <laughs> Do tell. As you know, these planes were once a battlefield. A great battle between the Vel and Zanakan, the melee of Machina. That war left this place a barren, lifeless land. Then time passed. The summoners took note of this uninhabited land. Great battles could be fought here with no harm to the common folk. Perfect for a final battle with sin, as it were. Summoners wait here, ready to perform the final summoning. Ah, to know what they must feel. In any case, when Sin is defeated here, the calm will visit Spira once more. That's why this place is now known as the Calm Lands. Exactly who dubbed it so is unknown. And that, as they say, is that. <laughs> and that is that. Oh, wow. There is a monster right behind us. Just a waiting. I will say, I think one, uh, one criticism I definitely have of this game is that the enemy variety is kind of lacking. You will just straight up fight this exact three combination of enemies for the entire game. Yeah, they get stronger and they change colors, but... Come on. That is definitely an area where... FF10 could have used some improvement. I think that if we ever get, like, an FF10 remake, which... Judging by the amount of time FF7 is taking to remake, we probably will never get. Honestly, if they remade 10, I I think I... I don't even think I would want it to be remade in the way 7 is. I don't mind, like, Final Fantasy 7's, uh, remake. But at the same time, I, like, kind of do wish the story was just the story of Final Fantasy 7. Although I have not played... The other two games. I've only played Remake. I haven't played... I haven't even played the Integrate content. I've only played Remake and I haven't played the other one. Rebirth, whatever it is. I blew up that... <laughs> that wasp exploded. Yeah, if they ever remade Final Fantasy X, I think that I would I don't I wouldn't want it remade like that. 
They could just, like, do a brand new graphics, but ex what the fuck was that? <laughs> what was that? That guy flew up to me and then he just left? I don't know what was going on. Maybe they were just picking up their chocobos, but... I am making my way to the only building within sight, so... Take that, dog! Take that, robot! Booyah! I told you, booyah! I don't even know if I need to catch Waka up anymore. I think he's pretty much on par with everyone else now. Kamari might need a little bit of grinding. That's Kamari, <laughs> you know. Here I come, random house. I see a save sphere there. It makes this place pretty good for grinding, because I know you can fight some pretty pretty hard monsters here eventually. Near the entrance, we really aren't. Oops. Sorry, I hit the wrong spell and I fed you a Thundara. Well, I hope you don't mind too much. Terribly sorry. It's my fault. Take that. Take a that. I think this is the monster arena down here. Maybe it's just the like the like rest stop or something. I can't exactly remember. Oh, look, it's what's her face. Algamine. I'm gonna have to be summon my Aeons for you to fight. No. You're not allowed to, I don't care. Take that, bug. Oh man. <laughs> oh man, that dog bites you and puts you to sleep. That's pretty crazy. I really need to heal now. I'm like, I'm like poisoned and almost dead. And ooh, Lulu almost got hit. Enough. I overkill you with wow, five thousand damage. Holy shit! Orin, Orin did send that one to bed. That one's not even a joke. I'm definitely not gonna be able to make it without fighting again. So. Yuna, quick, actually, hold on. We'll just, we'll switch out Lulu for Kimari, why not? That way, if we get in a fight, then I'll have a big blue lion to smack people around with his stick. Well, I guess we're safe. This person is just straight up wearing a bikini. <laughs> like... Father Zook. Long time no see. You are Yuna? Hmm. You certainly mm -hmm. don't look like Mr. Kinox's murderer. What you say? Uh, uh, uh. Uh, uh. Please tell us what has happened. Mr. Micah just issued a personal order, you know. It said that you and your guardians murdered Mr. Kinox and fled. Now, why would we, we do that? to kill you on sight, or so it says. What of Bavel? Things are calm on the surface, but the depths are turbulent. After the death of Maester Kinok, Kelk Ronso left Yevon. Convenient. Getting around will be easier with Yevon in disarray. But be careful, my friends. You have been branded enemies of Yevon. You should avoid temples for the time being. I guess we can't really go to towns then. For your warning. We just have to keep Father, going. You came all the way here just to tell us this? To tell the truth, I was a little curious to see this summoner you are guarding. I hope her pilgrimage goes well. For your sake, too. Thank you, Father. I must be off. I shall pray Is Zook the you. guy from Besaid? Maybe. I don't know. I can't remember that long ago. <laughs> that was a while back. That was like 23 hours ago at this point. Well, okay, let's save. <gasps> we can play Blitzball now! 
Thank the Lord. Blitzball's back on the menu, boys. All right, hey you. Welcome. What can I do for you? Got any weapons or items? I guess this isn't the arena. Although we've got uh, a bunch of shit. That's magic plus 10, that's better. This stuff will always be here though, so I should uh... Wow, plus 10% strength and piercing. I kind of want that. The 10% strength is going to be really good. So let's go ahead and do that. All right. Perfect. So, we are officially traitors then. Hey, let them say what they want. It's it's okay. I'm not worried. Well, maybe just a little. It's so hard not to be. Hey, it's okay to worry. And if it gets too rough, just yell. Yell. Hmm. Ah! Hmm. Okay. I might just do that. Yeah. Who was that? Until half a year ago, he was a summoner. Waka and I were his guardians. Whoa, He's I forgot about that. Pilgrimage. He gave up halfway. Here, on this plane. Now he is a monk at the Bavel Temple. This is only halfway? When I, I guess was guarding so. Zook, I already told you this, yeah? About when I was too into the game to be a good guardian. So, when Father Zook said he wanted out, to tell you the truth. I was kind of glad. I guess I never connected the dots that Waka talking about being a guardian was not Yuna that he was guarding. But I guess that makes sense, seeing as how Yuna hadn't even started her pilgrimage yet. Gagazet is Ronso Land, Kimari home. Hmm. Uh, hey, we might meet your family. Kimari has no family. Oh, uh, sorry. Kimari orphan. Kimari not alone. Aw, I love Kamari. He's so awesome and friendly. The exact opposite of how angry and, and furry he was when we she's first met him. Stopping, is she? Yuna, she's made her decision. But I can't just let her go. We won't have to. Too bad. We'll save Yuna even if she calls the final Aeon. But how? Mm, I'll think of a way. But what if you can't? <sighs> I'm tired of talking to you. <laughs> what the fuck? But let's think together. Okay. And if we can't think of something, we find another way. Okay. Hi, Orin. Messy. What is? Yevon, Micah, and Seymour are not of one mind. Remember what Seymour said last we met. I do not think Micah will concur. What, about killing everybody on Earth? Or in Spira, I guess? Yeah, I hope the leader of the biggest, well, the only church wouldn't be, like, fucking down with that. He wouldn't be hip to that lingo. Uh, that's Rin. I did not go over there and talk to him. Hello, I'm Rin. Oh, wait, no, it's not. I have a microphone with Sid. The airship, something, something. Something, something, something. Okay. Well, he said something about an airship. That's good. Good to know. There's Belgamine over here. I don't really want to fight her right now. Maybe that's not what she wants. Let's talk to her and see what's up. Oh. Hey, there are monsters hanging out right next to you. Oh, my God. Kiorals, uh, or however you say it. Okay, so they do 6,000 damage. Let's go ahead and, uh... I'll oh, silence buster you. I know you probably cast spells, so... Go away. Ow. Ugh. Ooh, man, that 3,000 damage is really nice. Probably should just focus the other one since that one couldn't even go, but... Yeah. 
No, don't drain me. He's drained my balls. Oh no. Take this, Kyoral, you fucker. It's the first time I fought one of them bad boys. Hey, hey, Belgamine. Oh, you again. You're quite the notorious traitor these days. What's it to you? <laughs> oh, you shouldn't take what the Maesters say too seriously. For summoners, destroying sin is everything. We are no tools of Yevon. Understand? Yes. Yes. So, are you up to the task? I do not know, but I will do my best. You've got spirit, but you'll need more to beat Sin. An Aeon duel. Show me what you're made of. I'll pass for now. No time to fight? I understand. I was in your shoes once. I'm pretty sure you have to fight her to get something. Maybe a piece of Yuna's weapon. I can't exactly remember. Let's explore this a little bit for the rest of this episode. More curals? That's fine, you give a lot of experience. Here, kitty, kitty. Good kitty. Uh oh, it did not silence him. That's what I get for not using Buster. <gasps> He's silencing me, that son of a bitch. You son of a pig. Well, they really like hitting Kamari with a Blazara. Blaster? Oh, damn. Kill him before he kills Waka. <laughs> He'll shatter Waka. Now, let's see. Does Waka get experience when he's petrified? No. That kind of sucks, actually. <laughs> Deathbringer? God damn, what the fuck? Hold on. Titus just got a weapon called Deathbringer? And that's kind of crazy. Death touch. I'm gonna leave Avenger now. I, I I should probably like actually do the thing that will give my weapons extra abilities and shit. You know what I mean? This cool little rock. Well, this cool little rock isn't that neat. Oh my god! The only way to go is forward. Basalisks. Hold on. Uh. They're not weak to any elements, so I'm not gonna bother, like... Silence Buster! I was gonna say, I'm not gonna bother, like... Hitting them with Waka's, uh, reels. Man, I was really hoping silence would make it so they couldn't do that. Oh, nice, though. No. Aw, oh, you bastard. Aw, oh, you bastard. Farewell. Well, there's a bunch of experience for you, Orin, I guess. I'll take it. Got a thing called a break lance. I want Kamari to level up, because I know I have to use him soon. Ooh, what's this ability? Aim. That's right, I had just have him in Waka's grid. Look at this, you can use a level 1 sphere grid to just unlock a bunch of empty nodes. I guess if you really wanted to, you could give Orin like 2,000 more health here if you had a bunch of HP spheres saved up. Or a bunch of strength. I don't know, maybe there's a place you could buy them. Probably not. Probably not, eh? Good job, Waka. Let's see. Power. Give Waka ultimate power. Oh, Lulu had a bunch of spheres as well. What's this ability down here? Demi. 
Demi can be kind of good. Let's see what's over this way. There's got to be items to find and stuff, or else this uh, whole area wouldn't even be here. Look, there's like a little dingle off the side of the map over here. We'll see what's on that little dingle, and then that'll probably be the end of this episode. What's on that little dingle? What could it be? <laughs> Robots! Ow. Huh. Hold on. Silence attack him. Now he- oh. Well, it didn't take. Sorry, it didn't take. I could've pulled Lulu out, but I'll just keep whacking him. What's the worst that could happen? Just keep whacking him, whacking him, whacking him, whack. Well, okay, so Orin now pretty much requires 10,000 SP to level up. Hello. I hope you're not planning to cross this place on foot. I want to ride a chocobo. Walking is not that bad. I suppose you're right. Fighting fiends lets you polish your skills. So what happens if we tell them we want to ride? This place are home to lots of wild chocobos. First, we must train them into, uh, to be dependable mounts. I'm training some chocobos now, but they're not quite tame yet. I'm sorry, I can't lend you any. Walking might be faster than waiting for one of my chocobos. Let me train one. That's easier said than done. It's not that simple, you know. You sure you want to try? Of course. All right, come with me. Oh, fuck. I wanted to see what's on the dingle. It's simple. Just get from where you are here to where I am before the time runs out. Oh, my God. Oh, no. Oh, this is, uh... <laughs> Once you're riding a wild chocobo, it will run whichever way it feels like. Press left and right to steer it between my chocobo and me. Keep an eye on the clock and you may not... Uh, and don't miss the finish line. Okay. 12 seconds. Let's go. Get me off this bird. So, chocobo racing is uh, is definitely a thing. And uh, you are required, if you want Titus's ultimate weapon, to do it. But uh, I think to get the ultimate weapon piece, you need, uh, you need a time of less than zero seconds. Which is possible. Wow, the exact time. Holy shit, I trained a chocobo. God damn. First try. From now on, you can go chocobo riding whenever you please. By the way, your chocobo is ready for some advanced training. And I got an elixir. Wow, it was definitely worth my time. I quit. Okay, can I ride one now? So I have to come and talk to you? Can I get like a fucking whistle? Like, even Final Fantasy IX had, like, a piece of grass you blow on to summon the giant chicken. -na -na. Can I knock it down there on a chocobo? I guess not. Let me off. Let me off this crazy bird! What's down here? What? Hey, hey, you can't go down there! Why, why not? Who are you? Even if I don't know what I'm watching for, duty's duty, I'm not moving. Well, unless something really unique happens, that is. Okay, then. Well, I guess I, like, can't explore this area as much as I thought at this point. I must just have to keep going and then come back. I guess we're not allowed to do some of the side stuff just yet. Oh, hello. Perfect. There's a little chesticle right here that I would have totally missed, probably. <gasps> Ooh, level two key sphere. Oh, one more battle to cap off the night. Why not? Oh my god, what the fuck? And I've been ambushed. Hey. What the fuck is this shit? You whore. Uh, well, I'll try to use silence attack. I don't even know if that'll be good. It would have been. How much? I don't even know how much these guys have. Hey, uh... Let's just do this. This'll... This'll solve part of the problem. Oh yeah!
Point blank balling. Ow! Oh. Okay, I don't know how much. There we go. So I don't know how much this guy has. But a crit from Orin will do it. Four ability spheres. Nice. Well, I would have used Lancet on that guy too, but. Freaking. <laughs> Kamari died, so... Alright, just don't hit a battle before I get in here. Yeah, there we go. And go right to that sphere. Yeah, alright, well, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed these episodes of Final Fantasy X. And uh, when I come back, I guess we'll continue on towards Mount Gagazette. Have a good day.